Hey, what's up, Eagle Fizz out here? And um, I figured I might as well just go ahead and do this video. I've talked about it for a while. It's my favorite movies of 2012 list. Um, keep in mind, I haven't seen every movie from 2012. There were a couple of movies that I wanted to see from 2012 that I've kind of been procrastinating about watching and, you know, figured it's already the 15th <laughs> of January, so I might as well go ahead and do this now, or really, I mean, it's, it's kind of irrelevant, but... Um, like I said, I didn't see every movie of 2012. This isn't necessarily, um, you know, the best of 2012 lists. It's just a list of, in no particular order of movies that I saw in 2012 that I really liked, that stood out above the rest. And the first movie I will start with is The Dark Knight Rises. I talked about this movie uh, a lot on the channel, did a full review of it. Um, <clears throat> really enjoyed it. I didn't think it was quite on par with The Dark Knight, which was Christopher Nolan's previous entry into his Dark Knight series. Of course, The Dark Knight Rises is the finale, and I thought it really went out well. Um, I thought the end of it was actually quite moving. Um, I love the character of Bane, at least for 90% of the movie. By the end of it, I thought they would kind of neutered him and just cast him aside, really. Um, but, um, yeah, really enjoyed the movie. And uh, yeah, definitely one of my favorite movie-going experiences of 2012. Another one, um, another favorite movie-going experience of 2012 was Django Unchained. Uh, just a fun, fun, entertaining movie. Great performances all around. Great cast, of course. Tarantino, you know his characters, his penchant for for great dialogue and for really you know hardcore violence. All there, all the great Tarantino stuff that we that we've come to know and love from him. It's all there. Great stuff, great flick. Um, next up, The Cabin in the Woods. Probably my favorite horror movie of the year. And the fact that it's a horror movie within a horror movie kind of thing. Um, I mean, I love that. I love the fact of, 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 you know, how it sort of, you know, and we've seen it before, uh, you know, horror movies playing on horror movie ish, you know, themes and stuff. Um, I thought The Cabin in the Woods was just really smart. Um, I just really, really enjoyed it. I think for horror fans, it was really the movie of the year as far as I'm concerned. Highly, highly recommend that movie. If you haven't seen it, it's out on Blu-ray. I uh, did a full review for the channel. Go check that out. Um, but yeah, definitely my favorite horror movie going experience of this year was um, The Cabin in the Woods. Um, next movie, and some of you guys might be surprised by this one because it is an animated film, Wreck-It Ralph. Um, if you're a gamer, especially sort of a, a, of my generation, you're going to love Wreck-It Ralph just for all the, the, the game references, um, the end jokes, stuff like that. But the movie really has just a really big heart. It's got a great message. Um, it's very well written. Um, the voice talents in it are great. Loved the movie. Just absolutely loved it from start to finish. Highly, highly recommend it. If you're, you know, hardcore horror guy and you're thinking animated movie, no thanks. Give Wreck-It Ralph a chance. Um, I think you'll like it. Definitely one of my favorite movie-going experiences of this year. Um, Blooper. I've talked about this movie a lot on this channel. Um, really love the sci-fi, action, drama, um, sort of melding of genres there. The performances I thought were just off the charts. The writing was great. Ryan Johnson, uh, who also directed one of my favorite movies, Brick. Um, just really talented guy. Really good movie. Bruce Willis, excellent. Joseph Gordon-Levitt, again, excellent. I mean, everything this guy does, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, I think is just, you know, he's just a phenomenal actor. I think he's head and shoulders above every other actor of his generation. He's just, uh, he's just the man in Looper. It's a really great movie. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. Um, Next up is a movie called Exit Humanity. Uh, it officially released in 2011 at some film festivals around the world, but it really didn't come out um, until 2012, which you know, it came out on DVD and Blu-ray in 2012. Um, really good, different kind of zombie movie. We've seen so many, so much zombie stuff here lately. And Exit Humanity is really, you know, Exit Humanity brings the kind of human drama to the zombie apocalypse that The Walking Dead has been trying to do for two seasons and honestly, in my opinion, has pretty much failed at. So, um, definitely Exit Humanity is really good, really good movie, period. 
excellent zombie movie. Highly recommend it if you guys haven't seen it. I think it's it's available on, on Netflix, so if you've got Netflix, go check it out immediately. Really, really loved that movie. Um, <clears throat> Chronicle. Um, really a surprise for me. Um, the trailers and stuff, I missed it in theaters. I really didn't think the trailers were that good. Um, they really didn't sell it for me. I picked it up on Blu-ray. I watched it. I loved it. Definitely one of my favorite movies of the year. Highly recommend it if you haven't seen it. Um, story of these three friends who develop these powers where they can sort of, you know, alter and move things with their minds. But it's told through the third person of like found footage um, or discovered footage. And it does that really, really well. So, I mean, you've got a great story with, you know, the, the three the three guys who have the powers, yet it's captured through, you know, this found footage, which, um, uh, you know, is, is, is done really, is done really well, a lot better than a lot of other found footage movies that we've seen lately that have gotten a lot more hype, but, um, really well made movie all around, really good movie. If you haven't seen it, highly, highly recommend you seeing it. Um, and Prometheus. Prometheus is a movie, when I first watched it, I thought it was really, really interesting. I didn't think it was necessarily everything that it could be, but it was the kind of movie that I kept thinking about, and and you know, I don't, I would just catch myself thinking about Prometheus, or I'd want to read about it online, or I'd want to read about what, you know, everybody had their own different sort of take on what it meant, and or, or what it was trying to say about creation, and you know, the just just a lot of stuff about it and I found I found it to be really interesting not just a movie to watch but a movie to think about later and to talk about and I watched it again on blu-ray and um, I still I, I don't think it's everything that it could have been you know I mean visually of course I mean Ridley Scott is just you know, a master storyteller as far as visuals are concerned um, you know I think the screenplay definitely the story could have been a little clearer but I mean I think they definitely it's just a very interesting movie it's a very thought-provoking movie and that's why I wanted to add it to this list um, like I said you know for some reason, it just kept coming back to me. I just wanted to think about it more and more, and and finally I bought it on Blu-ray. And uh, I haven't sat down to watch it with Ridley Scott commentary yet, but um, I certainly plan to in the near future. Um, I also wanted to mention what I think are the best Blu-ray releases of 2012, and those hands down to me were Halloween two and three. Uh, the collector's editions that were released through uh, Scream Factory, those were. You know, if you're a fan of that series, if you're a fan of horror in general, I mean, those were phenomenal Blu-ray releases. The special features, um, the, the, the picture quality, the sound quality, just absolutely top-notch. You know, every other DVD, Blu-ray you know, company that releases special editions or collector's editions, um, you know, definitely should take a page out of Screen Factory. And not just with the Halloween 2 and 3 releases, um, but just every Blu-ray release that they put out this year. I'm talking about They Live, The Fun House, you know, the list goes on and on. They've really released some top-notch Blu-rays this year. But um, I wanted to pick out two that I thought were my favorite, and that's definitely Halloween 2 and 3 on Blu-ray. So yeah, that was my favorite, uh, my list of favorite movies of 2012. Uh, please feel free to leave a list of your own below. And um, until next time, you guys take it easy. Peace.